Hi, I'm back with a short one again while I wait in the car. <laughs> Cause I'm in the car waiting so much, but I did just see some nice birds, so you know it helped. But yeah, fuck all this. I got a soccer ball and a tennis racket, and I've been <laughs> I've been getting real with it. <laughs> Anyway, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this in because I don't even care. <clears throat> I think I have a cold, which is scary at these times, but <sighs> I haven't had a cold in a while. So, this is for, um, I don't know who this is for. I just felt like singing it, but it's for somebody out there, I'm sure. Um, you suck. You fucking suck. You suck so much. You suck. Fuck. If I sucked as much as you, I'd motherfucking shut it up. You suck. You fucking suck it. So fucking shut it. Drop the beat. Then pick it up like Mr. Buckets. You've got sticks and stones to turn to. Well, I've got words to hurt you. So save your bullets cause you're fucked. Totally fucked. <laughs> I forgot the rest. You've got sticks and stones to turn to Well, I've got words to hurt you So save your bullets cause you're fucked I don't know. It just, I got, it got lost on me. I'm really bored. Notice how quiet my car is. For once in my life, I just don't know what to say. I've been missing for a while, and oh my gosh, I think um my storage is upgraded on here. So I have um a crazy dream <clears throat> I need to tell you guys about. And um, hold on, I might have to like you know, fuck singing that song. <laughs> Because, like, the song's called Fuck or something, anyway. But, um, I, uh, <sighs> this is gonna be a long one, so I might have to do it in two parts again. Because if this person comes out, I have to drive, and I can't continue my story while I drive. Plus, like, man, I have a toothache right now. Jesus. But, um, I had a dream. I wish I had chimes or something. <laughs> um, and uh, it was the other night, but it was so freaking long and like crazy that I just remember most of it. <clears throat> and I can't really tell you like most of it as usual, or it'd be like a 30 minute video, but I will tell you it involved giant anaconda snakes that had like. They were like dragons without wings. They were like gigantic. I mean, the snakes were bigger than the dragons because there were dragons. And, but the snakes had like these spiky scales and, and were like super like crazy, like crazy, crazy big. But anyway, so it was this like weird dystopian world. And um, it honestly looked like the first place I was, was kind of like a deciduous type of area if you know what deciduous is it's like um I don't know when you think of like freaking the Appalachian Mountains right is that deciduous um yeah yeah deciduous because coniferous is like pine trees and shit yeah that's right that's right but um so anyway it's like that and um so it starts out in an area like that, and for some reason, I the dream starts, um, and I'm being attacked or chased by a large snake. And when I mean a large snake, I mean like, like coiled up. Like they're so big that they could pluck like a helicopter out of the sky if it was flying low. So 
that big. <laughs> so, like, the snakes were just as scary as the dragons. Because on land, even though they're big, they could go super freaking fast. Because they had these, like, scales. And, like, they looked like snakes, but they also looked... Like, snakes have scales, you know? But they're very smooth, normally. I know some snakes... Um, I can't think of them. I'm usually good with animal names, but... Um, I think there's a couple of, like, not pythons, but vipers. Yeah, there's a couple of vipers. Like, maybe, like, a, is it, like, a gibbons viper or something? But like, something like that, that are, um, they have very pointy dragon-like scales. And so, all these snakes looked crazy. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why, but when I was telling someone about it, I compared them to, like, shoes, like, you know how, like, shoes will just have, like, random-ass colors on them? Even though I'm talking about snakes. I don't know. I guess that doesn't make any sense. But, like, uh, like, old-school, like, sketchers just have some weird-ass colors just all over them, you know? Or, like, some Asics that just, just, I don't know, they just be, like, gray and pink for no reason whatsoever. Like, or, like, green and black, and you're just, like what like shit that don't match you know and um so <clears throat> but I'm getting chased by a snake and of course because in my dreams my hair still be blue <laughs> and um I was being chased and the snake like went to like strike at me and I was running into a forest and all the trees were very big too they were like those trees in California the sequoia trees I think like the the trees that are like you know almost extinct but they're super big um they were like that and so I'm running into the forest because it to avoid like snake strikes you know and um I get like I don't know what do you call that I get like scraped by his little tooth you know well his gigantic ass tooth and um and then I don't remember anything I um because their poison paralyzed you whenever it got you. Except you could still breathe. And I remember I was stuck there. I don't know what... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> what made the snake go away was people. Um, they had a small aircraft. And they were shooting from it. And um, I <clears throat> like dropped to the ground. Paralyzed. And not a lot of people knew this about the snakes they just assumed that those people were dead because like their breathing slowed a lot like in this world you know and um <clears throat> the one guy on the aircraft knew and he was like you know risking their lives to get me and everyone on the aircraft was always mad about it because they were like because it was it lasted days but anyway first of all let me not get ahead of myself but i uh in my dream, for a lot of my dream, actually, I was freaking paralyzed, <clears throat> and it was not cool. Let me just tell you that, because, like, my dreams, I feel like, are very, like, half lucid, because I can feel pain, and the horrible thing about it was these people picked me up, okay, and they saved me. Yes, good for them. Yay. I was happy about it, you know, but, so they hurry up, land their little plane, like, throw me in it, and I'm paralyzed with my eyes open of course nobody bothered to shut my ding damn eyes and I was really upset about that because like I could feel them burning like so bad I was like can someone please give me some eye drops like you know so I'm just like sitting there like completely like motionless taking shallow breaths still alive and like this whatever venom is doing some weird shit to me I would like go in and out you know <clears throat> and um I was in, like, this, it was, like, you ever see those military, like, little tiny military planes on, like, the freaking S.H.I.E.L.D. shows or, like, Marvel, how they have, like, just a cockpit and then the back will just be, like, seats, you know? So, I mean, maybe those are real military planes, but, um, I gotta, like, put my window down because, Jesus, I'm gonna die. Um, so, it was like that. <clears throat> and they set me up in a chair and didn't buckle me in I don't know why but because I guess because they were in a hurry so they like dragged me in set me in a chair everyone ran to the front to get all ready and the people at the side doors in case this snake was you know 
getting ready because like i said it could pluck airplanes out of the sky and they were very fast they were none to be fucked with not to be fucked with noneth to be fucked with and so um we're up in the air we didn't get attacked so they must have i don't know damaged the snake and it ran away or something and while i was like out and just sitting in the chair random people would come by and they'd just be like looking in my eyeballs my my eye goals my eyeballs like that and i'd be like i just remember their faces like you know and i just and they'd be like are you sure like she's alive and then he'd be like some other guy that looked like freaking um like i don't want to say like the crocodile crocodile dundee guy like yeah like that and um he I almost said the crocodile hunter but that wasn't right crocodile dundee and um so he was like no he was like just watch like every like 30 seconds she'll like take a breath or something and uh you know if you just wait long enough you'll see it because he was the only one that knew about the poison and now i was going in and out of like weird dreams where i was seeing things from like different i it was i was just seeing something from like seeing out of the eyes of somebody traveling you know and i was like you know i couldn't think much but i was just going in